we have more new enemies? We should. We do. We have Sybaritics. Which is... I don't know. They look like Shouts to me. Hey, we got one. Um, that was Shout that looked like that, wasn't it? Yeah, they look like... They definitely look like one of the summons we got. That's for sure. I'm pretty sure it was Shout. Uh, what is his name? Katobal Pass in the, the advanced version? I don't... It doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. Oh. So we do need a Go Tidal Wave. And uh, don't you worry... Just because we're seeing them here doesn't mean I, I won't be showing off a summon so showcase in one of the bonus episodes. I love the summons. I want to show them off all the time, even if I show them off in the Let's Play. We'll have a separate one. That's just how I roll. 1,926 skill, 1,110 experience, 5 ability points. Yeah, we're still a ways away from anybody learning anything. But we have a lot of boss fights coming up. <laughs> you saw all the monsters. <laughs> I d I'm not sure if we have to fight all of them, but we have to fight a shit ton of them, that's for sure. Um, so we should be... What the hell, game? <laughs> you and me, we're not necessarily on the same terms all the time here. Uh, let's head over here. And in here we can get a coral ring. Which is why I didn't have to buy the fourth one back in Mirage Village, because the fourth one's right there. So now I have four total. Hold on for one second, though. I think we are very, very close to where I need to be especially careful. Because there is an enemy coming up very shortly. I don't think this guy is it. Um, that I'm kind of scared of. It is not, but this is... This is quite an enemy nonetheless. Alright, let's mug him and S-shot him. We do get a critical strike off that, which is very nice. And no counter! I thought this guy had a counter. Maybe it just doesn't activate every time. Uh, hopefully between the critical and the S-shot, that will be enough damage. Chances are it won't be, though. There's the counter. He's got Earthquake on him. Maybe he's just going to do two in a row. No? Okay, so I'm going to take this opportunity to heal. Obviously. Um, from, from both of you. Just a cure two should be fine for this, I think. Um... This guy has the counter, of course, so I don't want to go for anything that might just do, uh, you know, a thousand damage or even less than that with Krill's Call, uh, so I, I am nervous about that. Um, I think, actually, the S-Shot should probably finish this guy off. I'm still nervous about this guy, though. This guy, you know, he's a big-ass dragon. Down he goes! Fair enough! He has 615 gil. 475 experience, 4 ability points, but as you saw, he does have that counter, which makes him quite difficult if you're not leveled properly, or if you don't look out like I did. He doesn't cast Earthquake one of the first times that you attack him. Get another Dragon Fang out of that. Uh, honestly, I don't think my party is set up properly for the next guy, though, so I think I need to change it around again. Actually, I should be fine for just a little bit here, um, where we can get not so nice giving me a fight right there. However, the game is not nearly as difficult as I had thought. There is actually a save point here, so I do need to rearrange my party, and I do mean my entire party. And I will use the save point when I'm done, and I'll meet you when I'm back. Alright, all healed and saved. Rearranged my party quite a bit. What we have now our bear job classes across the board. There are a couple of reasons for that. Number one, the ability. Uh, you can have two abilities as a bear job class. So Barks is, of course, going to bring forward Sword and S-Shot. It's a deadly combination. Of course, his two best abilities. In terms of his equipment, he, of course, is on the Brave Blade. Ice Shield, because it's the best that we got. Crystal Mail for defense. And then Ribbon, not because it does the best defense, but because it prevents most status effects, not all, but most status effects, and that is going to be important for this fight. Everybody's going to be on uh, ribbons, and pretty much only a bear job class, and I think the dancers can equip this. So we're doing bear, we're doing bear job class, and fire rings are incredibly important for this fight. Um, Everybody's going to be on fire rings. If you don't have fire rings, you can get one-shotted by, by this next enemy. It's not fun. Not fun at all. Reyna 
is on footwork and jump. Basically, the idea of, of what we're doing here is uh, give her as many turns as possible and then hide her while doing a little bit of damage. That's the idea. How well it'll work, I don't know, but that's the idea. She's got the enchanter on. The reason that she doesn't have something better is because what we are fighting is not immune. It I, I don't know how to phrase this all the time. It absorbs holy damage. So, no Excalibur, no Holy Lance, no Holy. Ice Shield, because it's the best thing we got. Crystal Metal, because it's the best thing we got. And Ribbons and Fire Rings are standard, like I said. Krill is on Time Magic and White Magic. It is vital that we get that Time Magic in there. Uh, white Magic, of course, because we need to heal constantly. Uh, in terms of equipment, Weapon does not matter. Prism does for defense. Ferris is on black and revive. Once again, Ferris is not going to be that important for this fight. Um, neither really is Reyna. It's pretty much going to be the Krill and Bart show. Mostly the Bart show for this next fight. Uh, but in case we do get a little bit of time, <laughs> uh, Ferris does have black magic and revive. Um, Hopefully, like, I don't need to use any of these. To be honest, I'll probably never use the black magic, but it's there just in case I should want it. In terms of equipment, not that it really matters for Ferris either. We got Masamune, Flame Shield, and Prism Dress. Now, I think we are ready to go. Hold on for one second, though. Okay, I think we are ready to go. I did make one small change. Ferris is now on the healing staff. All right. I think we're ready to take him on. You can clearly avoid him, right? I mean, you just have to go along the path. But he is here, so we must take him on. And it is boss time. We are up against Omega. And Omega starts off by showing us why I equipped Fire Rings. That would have killed us had I not had them equipped. Bart is pretty much the only attacker here. This this fight is more about getting Bart's four turns without him dying. If I can do that, I win. Let's get haste two on everybody. So that that's what this is all built about or, around. Getting Bart's four turns. Raid is going to go up in the air. Bart's is going to get an S shot. And this is why I only need four turns. That's 24,000 damage. And that is now three turns, or sorry, two turns that I've got. And Reyna finally gets something in the air. Might be too late for her. Uh, let's get Cure 3 on everybody. Ferris, you are still useless to me. We're, ju we're just waiting for Barts. Just waiting for Barts. <laughs> Barts! <laughs> Turn number three. One more turn, and Omega will fall. Omega decided to kill Ferris. And... Kill Krill. And send Krill off so I can never get her again. Should Bart's get that last turn? Please, Bart's, please. Thank you. <laughs> that is it! That is it. Down. Goes. Omega weapon. <laughs> I don't care that everybody else is dead. I wasn't going to get ability points out of this anyway. Oh, that is glorious. Down goes Omega. Yes. You get 50,000 gil for that fight. I assume you also get ability points. I have never gotten ability points out of that fight. I have... And we get the Omega badge for that. Well deserved. <laughs> I've never taken him on without, like, mastered everything or bear job classes, so I don't know. He does- okay, for the record, he has reflect on him. That's why I didn't cast any spells on him. Um, he has- I don't know, he's, like, fucking immune to everything. Like, physical attacks, zero. Jump on him, you saw, it does zero. He absorbs holy. This guy's ridiculous. Ridiculous. This is the only way I really know how to beat him, is, is bolt three sword and a shot. But we get the Omega Patch! I will take it! No 
Apparently he was a load bearing Omega! But he exploded. He exploded real good. <laughs> Can I make it back inside? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, dear Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna rearrange my party again. <laughs> I don't want to say how many times that, that took me. I stopped counting. But I'm gonna be right back. Back the way that I was before that fight. That really did take way too long. Um... Uh, what is the Omega Badge? Does it do anything? No. <laughs> of course not. It's actually, like, hidden here within the weapons, if I remember. Yeah, there it is. It, all it says is, Your wisdom slash strength have beaten the ancient culture. <laughs> like, bullshit. I got lucky. <laughs> I fully admit that. I don't... At this level? Mm, luck. That's what did it. Let's move on, though. Omega is no more. Omega is gone. So let's head up here. And here we find a book. What's up, book? How you doing, buddy? I never thought you'd make it this far. But in any case, you're finished. The instant you touched this book, you activated the dimension switch! Uh-oh. And it is boss time yet again. This time we're up against Apprehender. Uh, this guy is not nearly as difficult. <laughs> as you might expect. Uh, not, not nearly as bad as Omega. To be honest, uh, Omega is ridiculous. He is, he is one of those optional endgame bosses that are supposed to be ridiculously hard. Uh, so you have to find a way to get to him. And luckily, I did. Alright, uh, you still got the healing staff on. Uh, this guy is weak to fire. So use fire on him. Uh, but I shouldn't have too much difficulty with him just with my normal setup. I shouldn't need to do anything special. As you can see, we did damn near four, sorry, damn near 5,000 damage. Are you kidding me? I just healed him, too. Alright, you just regular fight. You can't really do anything to steal or anything like that. You need to smack him. Because he can't get confused. A rocket punch that Omega does use. I still want to talk about that fight a little bit. Um, you saw that he used a rocket punch that does half your HP and damage. It can also confuse you. Should that confuse Bart, you're more or less screwed unless you have the, the healing staff with you, which is why I put that on, on Ferris. I thought that the ribbon protected against confuse slash muddle. Uh, as it's officially called in this game. It does not! You would think it would. You really would. A shot! It's probably not going to finish him off as he protects himself and tries to drain again. Uh, we can just fight. There we go. Critical hit. And he can't do anything back. Let's go ahead and try to call Mega Flare. Go Bahamut. Defeat my enemy. Is it going to be enough? No, it's not that much damage. Oh, but it is enough to finish him off. Nobody can stand the might of Bahamut. That is what I expected all along. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, this guy, not that difficult. Not compared to Omega. Nothing really is. Nothing really is. You get 16 ability points for that fight. I will look up Omega, actually. Next chance I get to see how, ma how many ability points he gets. And then we get another Ash from him for that. Actually, I'm going to do that right now, after this finishes. Can I move? Okay, let me look up how much, how, how many ability points o o Omega gets you. 